Ready to go? Let's go. I wonder if there's a way at this point to get a hint that you have to go to zone 4 in case you forget. <laughs> if you just stop playing the game at this particular moment and then came back to it like a month later. Yeah, anyways. Don't you act game like you fooled me for a second. You might recognize that name. Oh. Huh. Okay, that's just there. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Anyways. Let's see what this brings now. Ah, uh, stop being slow. Yeah. Yeah, three of these guys. I guess I just got lucky when they were fighting two of these guys together earlier on. Three of these guys is not fun. It's just a lot of stuff to, to chew through. And Pablo's just out of the game. Uh, there we go. Whoops. Darn it. Didn't mean to use that one. I actually did more damage, though. Weird. Finally, she's back up to 38. I'll have to look at this again. I don't know why. Unless the, the pattern... I don't think the pattern of the leaves means anything in this game. Unlike the first game. I feel like I need to be in top condition for this. I don't know what for, but... Okay. Strangely unpurified. There's that old song. But yeah, you didn't fool me, game. I knew this every single time I saw this thing. Oh, okay, I did not interact with that. Ha! <laughs> A chest lies within the location that nests our world. Outside of our world and within yours, Box, look to the, your files that contain our universe. Look to the folder that we are contained in, near the bottom of its contents awaits what you seek. The treasure chest holds the keys to your progress. You must enter the results of that chest in this very room. Any any thoughts on this, Pablo? Okay. So... So when... when, when Pablo started talking about look inside of me, I was actually thinking that there was going to be this. So I've noticed that if you go into the game folder... Well, there... Okay, two notable files. One is called treasurechest.zip. There's another one called when opening the treasure chest dot text. The password is all letters, no numbers. This is the context of the text file. Lowercase only, no spaces. But the game tells you verbatim. Maybe um, an earlier version didn't tell you as clearly. May hmm. It might be that... Okay, so it might be that um, because I'm on an easier hit puzzle difficulty, the game gives me the, the password verbatim. Whereas I suspect that, that card on the outside was supposed to, uh, to be a hint otherwise. You must unlock the treasure chest first before attempting to view its contents. Do not attempt to extract only the image alone. Extract the treasure chest itself to a new folder. So I believe it's um, a password protected zip directory. Yeah. Entering the password. Incorrect. That doesn't seem right. Did I misspell it or something? Oh, it's as an E. It's <laughs> Eloha, not Aloha. <laughs> Whoops. I always misremembered that name apparently. There we go. Folder is open. Yeah, scroll up to the top where it just appeared, because the zip folder is at the bottom, but the actual folder that comes out of it is up top. Image. 
There's... All right, you should probably get to see those. Give me a second. I'll, I'll, I'll set this up so you can see it. That's the that's the image that's um, inside of the inside of the directory. It's is that the first time we saw the batter in Zone Zero? Interesting. Anyways, get rid of that real quick. Okay. So shift, enter, left, right, left, up, shift. Shift, enter, left, right, left, up, shift. There we go. Whoop. That was a little awkward. Pressed one thing with one one focus and it, the game responded. All right. And. Well, blacks, that certainly felt odd. <laughs> I don't know what you even felt. Just walking around, I guess? Or does me does me interacting with the world files create strange feelings in, in, in you on some strange metaphysical level? Something, feel, something feels wrong about this. Okay, I love metafiction. Anyways, regardless, whatever you just did, it worked perfectly. Let's open this chest. I told you to do so, do it. There you go. Finally. There's a note in here. Odd. It reads as such. Take this to the exit of the yellow zone. There, the gate shall be open. Whatever that means. You would be the single most qualified soul in this entire game universe to know what that means. Well, Blux, we're closing in on the end of this journey, I think. I think we are. So, this is the last recording session. This is the last recording session for this week, is the thing. We're in another one of those cases where we're only like halfway through the episode, though. I might just barely enter that area. I think it's another area? Well, yeah, it's, it's another area that, that we can open up. And then we can go from there? Or... I admit, I kind of like getting to spend some time here and then just like mentally prepare for whatever comes next. We, we've got some people here with us now. We've got some friends. we got you. There's a name I can never remember, I'm sorry. We've got Gomez. I don't know if this place is more or less cozy for having new people in it. <laughs> yeah, I like his little grunt noise too. I imagine that if we go through that door... Here we are. Well, I'll have a choice of that to go in, so we, we can open it up at least. These grand items, they're radiating a forced form of energy that I'm not familiar with. I feel like, likewise with his manner of speech evolving, I've, I've been voicing him in a more and more somber way. Maybe part of it is just me being more used to voicing him so I can be more expressive with him. I can express a wider range of emotions now just from being used to doing the voice. I wish I was able to use the other characters' voices enough to be able to do the same thing with them as well. Interesting. So is... Huh. Ugo is the guardian of Zone 4. Interesting. And I guess the witness kind of took their place? Oh, wait. I'd like to save the game. Okay. By the queen's unholy face. What is happening? 
What just happened to my cube? <laughs> it looks so much better now. You thought it looked terrible before. Of all things, of all things to disturb this, this boy. <laughs> Those grand items we presented appear to have affected my cube in a very peculiar manner. I, I'm getting a sensation that it wants me to touch it. This special cube calls out for my paw to touch its cold surface. Lux, let's inspect this object before us. Must we? I hope we can actually just save the game first. Ah. We can save here. Okay. For some reason, I desire to be down here more rather than up there this time. Up, usually I like to stay up on top. About, uh, up on top of the, the this building before I end things off. But this time, I think I'll stay in here. Okay. Next time, we will... See, your cube is just in here, Paolo. It's, it's, it's fine. Nothing happened. <laughs> well, I just didn't expect him to just call it his cube. It's, it's just what it is. It's his cube. He, he wasn't very um, proud of its appearance in the first game. I don't remember if he... I think he described it likewise at the beginning of this game, too. Anyways. <laughs> okay. Next time, we'll touch the cube. The, the other cube. Our cube is still safe and sound here. Huh. This feels a lot more dramatic than I expected. Prepare yourselves. Take a nice rest. Next time we we pass the point of no return. Bye everyone.